Well, since the beginning of the pandemic uh, in mid-March, life has slowed down for all of us here at St. Dominic's Priory, uncomfortably so, uh, given the fact that we have regularly heard the news of tens of thousands of people contracting the virus and dying, uh, some that we know personally, uh, through connections with family members and friends. The slowness of the life here, uh, the fact that we cannot go about our business as usual, has taken a long time to sink in for most of us here in the Priory. And I would say that's particularly true for myself. When the big outing of the day is walking in Tower Grove Park, which I've done many times since the beginning of this pandemic. Uh, it has been an occasion to think more carefully and listen more closely to what I have come to believe is the voice of God calling me to a deeper life of prayer, of reflection, of sharing the insights that, through the grace of God, I believe I have been given. It certainly has reminded me of times uh, of the passage from the first book of Kings, where the prophet Elijah is fleeing for his life from the uh, clutch of King Ahab and his queen Jezebel, and wondering where God is in the midst of this uh, very difficult and trying time in his own life as a prophet, as a preacher, um, Elijah asks the question of God, where is he in this moment? And of course, he's awarded uh, with uh, a voice that comes in the quiet rather than in the earthquake or in the fire. And I think as preachers, all of us are called to a life of silence, of reflection, uh, in order to preach a word that has been given to us. But that word only comes to us if we are quiet enough uh, to listen. And so the role of silence in our life as Dominicans uh, is uh, so that we might hear clearly the voice of God. There's so many voices that resound in our heads, whether they are voices uh, from our own uh, fragile uh, ego, uh, the voices of the world, the voice perhaps even of the enemy of our soul. And so to be silent, to be still, is to allow that process of the Holy Spirit to um, to heal us, to um, free us from the voice or those voices that are contrary to the voice of the Spirit that calls us to a deeper fidelity to preaching, to a deeper fidelity to accompany uh, the brothers with whom we live, uh, the people of God to whom we are sent to serve and with whom we serve. And so for us as Dominicans, and one of the attraction for me of the Dominican life was that it promised a place uh, for the great privilege of silence in our lives, something that we uh, perhaps don't understand as a privilege, but indeed it is, a privilege that with it um, calls for a responsibility, not only to withdraw, uh, to listen intently to that voice, that, that word that always dwells within us, but also to be able to uh, hear better the call to offer that word, a word of hope, a word of confrontation at times, a word of consolation many times. Uh, but we cannot do that unless we claim what is our heritage uh, from our Father Dominic.